Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Greg Pizzi. I'm a licensed psychologist, relationship therapist, and board-certified sex therapist. I'm based in Miami, and I want to welcome you to my live cast. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today, we will be talking about a few things. Uh, first, I'll be giving you guys a news item. Uh, which is uh, par for the course. Uh, I do that every time we have this live cast, which is semi-weekly every Tuesday and Thursday morning. Our feature topic today will be the six mental faculties. I'd like to teach you guys about the six mental faculties, what they mean, and how you can use them to your advantage in your life. Um, then I will be giving you my sex and relationship tip, as usual followed by gratitude because no episode would be complete without a gratitude moment and then an affirmation please don't forget to like uh, this post to like my page and follow below um, if you find that you're getting anything out of my content i sincerely appreciate your support again i'm dr greg pizzi licensed psychologist board certified sex therapist and relationship therapist my purpose is to help people uh, heal less lonely in life and to connect in better, more effective, satisfying ways in a world that is becoming increasingly difficult to engage in. Um, through my knowledge and experience in the field of psychology and my understanding of metacognition and the law of attraction, I've been um, finding it um, much more productive and useful to help the people that I work with uh, to find better self-esteem, more happiness, and more satisfying relationships. Um, again, this live, stream, this live stream is twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday morning. So please um, like below and set yourself a reminder so that you can be notified whenever I have uh, new things going on. Um, my name is Dr. Pizzi again, and my website is pizzipsych.com for those of you who are interested. In the news, today is day 210 of the COVID-19 pandemic. That's day 210 of COVID-19 health crisis because we first discovered COVID at the end of last year, and this is day 210 of the year, so... Um, I encourage you to stay safe, be responsible, keep yourself and your loved ones as healthy as possible, and that means both physically and psychologically. Um, Earl Nightingale said that most people tiptoe through life, hoping to make it safely to death. Most people tiptoe through life, hoping to make it safely to death. What does this quote mean to you? Um, please share your feedback in the comments below. Uh, I'd like to know what this means to you. Most people tiptoe through life hoping to make it safely to death. And um, if you share your thoughts on this, um, I will read them at the end of this live cast. And perhaps we can discuss it a little bit. Um, our main topic for today, our main topic for the today is the six mental faculties. Who's heard about the six mental faculties? The six mental faculties are will, memory, imagination, reason, perception, and intuition. Will. What do we mean by will? Okay, will or willpower, the ability to choose. As human beings, we're different from all the other animals on the planet, is that we were given the power of thought, we were given the power of free will. We have the ability with our powerful minds to decide things, to make choices, and to plan the kind of life that we want. That's the will, the power of the will. Memory. Our mind has a perfect memory. There's no such thing as a flawed memory or as a bad memory. Our memories, for the most part, work just fine. The mind is perfect in its making. 
Um, it's been discovered that forgetfulness or forgetting things is not a sign of something being wrong with the mind. It's a representation of the priorities that that person holds. So basically, that means that if a person, you know, the mind can only hold a certain amount of information in its long term memory before it gets reprogrammed and recoded as long term and long term memory when we sleep. Short term memory is what we need to remember on a working basis, on a day to day basis. The mind can only hold so much at one time what we prioritize, what we consider to be the most important are the things that we tend to keep on the top of our mind. So the mind and the memory work just wonderfully and they're there to serve us. The third mental faculty is the imagination. We as human beings are creators. We're different from all the other animals in that every other animal, every creature on earth is born and feels completely at ease in its environment. It's born into its natural habitat and is totally, totally at one with its life situation. Human beings are the only ones that are born and are completely disoriented in our environment. The moment we come into this world, we're automatically disoriented. We have no clue what's going on. And the reason for that is that we have the power to create our own environment. No other animal, no other creature on this planet has the ability to create its own environment, its own conditions. We do. That's why we need to use our minds as best possible to create the life that we want, which we have the power to do. If we can conjure it up in our minds, we can have it. Whatever we can imagine or dream can become a reality. Everything that we have, everything that you see, every build, the building that you're in right now, the device that you're holding in your hand, this computer, this microphone, this shirt, somebody imagined it. Somebody held a picture of it in their mind before it became real. So that's why the power of our imagination is so strong, because we can have anything we want. When John Kennedy asked the question, what do we need to do to send a man to the moon? The response that he received was just the will to do it. Just the will to do it. That's how powerful the human mind is. Okay, so number four. The fourth mental faculty is reason. Our ability to reason. We can use it for us or against us. Basically, reasoning is grabbing ideas, putting them on our minds and using them for what we want to emphasize. We can reason for or against something. We can reason ourselves into or out of anything through explanation. We have that ability and that cognitive, uh, cognitive talent of being able to use reason in our minds. The next mental faculty is perception. You've heard the phrase, it's all in your perception. Well, that is certainly true. The way we look at things, the way we perceive our environment is directly influences how we feel, what we do, how much we allow it to impact and influence our lives. Just by looking at something and changing our perception of, it, of that thing, actually tends to change whatever it is that we're studying. There's an observation bias in psychology that explains that just by looking at something, it changes automatically. The power of the mind is incredible. The unconscious mind is impacted by our perception. The way we choose to interpret what's going on around us is our perception the way we view things, we have a choice as to how we perceive what happens to us in life. And then that's also basically our deciding how we want to react, feel, and experience that event. Last but not least, the sixth mental faculty is that of intuition. 
we have the ability to tune in to emotions to tune into frequency and vibration. That's what intuition is. It's like a it's like a sixth sense. People have likened it to a sixth sense. If you ever walk into a room and you get a sense that something's just not quite right, or have you ever got the feeling that you were being watched or followed? That's your intuition talking to you. It's putting all your senses together and taking them to the next level. Um, we're all masses of energy, pretty much, in a constant state of vibration. This whole universe is in a constant state of motion. It's an ocean of motion, as my mentor Bob Proctor likes to say. We are all masses of energy in a constant state of vibration. We are connected as well. Nothing is separate. We are all connected and congruent to one another. The psyche, I mean, the reason that people think that people, you know, say that psychics, for example, have a gift, the ability to um, intuit things or see what's going on or determine the future. It's not that they're psychic. We're all psychics. We're all psychic beings because psychic is comes from the Greek root for mind. We're all mindful beings. We all have the ability to intuit, to think, to feel, and to vibrate, and to be aware, most importantly, of what that vibration is and to choose it deliberately. For those of you just turning in, as you know, I'm Dr. Greg Pizzi. I'm a psychologist, relationship therapist, and board-certified sex therapist. Please like and follow my channel and support me if you find this content to be useful, I appreciate it very much. And my website is www.pizzypsych.com. I'm now going to move on to the relationship and sex tip that I want to um, impart to you guys today. This is one of my favorites. I'm sure you've all heard of the golden rule. The golden rule is do unto others as you would have done unto you. In other words, treat others the way you would like to be treated. Well, in relationships, in adult human relationships, where we connect to other people, we really want to go beyond the golden rule. The golden rule is kind of basic, and it doesn't get us very far. It will keep us out of a lot of fights and out of a lot of battles and wars, maybe, in the world. I mean, if everyone went by the golden rule, we'd be in a pretty good place. But when it comes to satisfying adult relationships, the, re the, goal the rule that we want to aspire to is actually what I call the platinum rule. The platinum rule says, do unto others as they would have done unto them. So treat others the way they want to be treated. Do you hear the difference? The golden rule says, treat others the way you want to be treated. Okay. But the platinum rule says, treat others as they want to be treated. So it takes another step or two to make the effort to find out what is this person about? How do they want to be treated? How does this person want me to treat them? It's more than just me treating you the way I like to be treated. Because you may or may not like the same thing as I do. You may not uh, enjoy uh, being talked to the same way I like to be talked to. You may not uh, like the same foods. You may not enjoy the same music. So for me to blast the, the music that I like to you and expect you to like it is a little basic. In relationships, when we want to really connect and show empathy so that we can be there for one another. It's more about finding out what that person wants, needs, how they feel so that we can be more present for them. That's the platinum rule. Do unto others as they would have done unto them. Okay, gratitude moment. This is the moment where I take time to give thanks. And I'm going to share with you the gratitude that I had this morning when I was doing my meditation. And 
I'm going to translate it for you because it was in Spanish. So what it says in English is, I give thanks for my powerful mind and the ability to calm it when I feel overwhelmed. I give thanks for my powerful mind and my ability to calm it when I feel overwhelmed. On our next episode, which will be on Thursday morning, we will be talking about what should you do if your partner cheats on you? What should you do if your partner cheats on you? This is a question I get asked all the time in my work with patients, in my work with couples. And we're going to visit this issue of cheating, infidelity, um, going outside the boundaries or rules, spoken or unspoken, of a relationship. What should you do if your partner cheats on you? That's what we're going to talk about next time on Thursday. So please join me on Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Or thereabouts, depending on what time I actually can make this whole thing come together and get online. Finally, our affirmation of the day is, I accept myself for all my defects and I forgive myself for not being better. It's in my hands to change when and if I want to change. I give myself time to do it at the right moment. I accept myself for all my defects and I forgive myself for not being better. It's in my hands to change if and when I want to. I give myself the time to do it at the right moment. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for joining me today in this live cast. I'm Dr. Pizzi. As you know, I'm a psychologist, relationship and sex therapist. I'm based in Miami, Florida. Please, if you got anything out of this content, if you enjoy what I'm working on, and if you feel so inclined, please like this page and follow me on YouTube as well. I really appreciate your support. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.